Good day everyone, this is Gabriel. On this video, we're going to show you how to install VMware. This is an application as well as VirtualBox to virtualize operating systems. We have to go to the following website. On this website, you have to scroll down. And when you see here, try workstation player for Windows, click on download. This will automatically start a download here. I have it already. I'm just showing you how to do it. And then I'm going to put the scripts on the description below. The scripts are going to help us to configure the settings for the machine, right? For Intel CPU and the network card. I'm going to show you that later. Now, the other part is the unlocker. Unlocker, it's going to let us install the system without any issues right for doing that you have to go to the following website and then click on unlocker and then you download right and fight them if you need fight them um that will be another step just in case you need it right on the folder that we just created where you have download python the unlocker and the VMware tool, once we have downloaded, we go to the folder and we select the installation. This is going to take a little time. The following script will pop up, then we just click next, then agree in a selected terms and condition. Next, next. Then we click finish. The installation is complete. Then we go to the icon VMware Workstation Player. Once we have finished with the installation, we create a new virtual machine. Click next. As you can see here, it doesn't give you the option to select Mac OS. What the unlocker is going to do is that it will unlock, enable that option for you. Let me show you how. We close this one here and we go to the folder of the unlocker. Now that we have there, go to the win install, run as administrator. This will run a command in the background that will unlock that possibility for us to install the Mac OS. And now that we have it here, we go there. And we create a new virtual machine. We click on this one. And as you can see here, now we have the option to install Mac OS. Now, make sure to select the 13, then click 13. And the location where you're going to install this, make sure to have it properly selected there. Click next. I'm going to leave it as default, 80 gigs. And then we finish here. We just created the machine that is on here. Then we go to settings. On settings, make sure to select the amount of memory that you're going to use. I have it here uh, like that. You can change it according to your preferences. The processors as well. The course, the size of the disk drive is already selected. And on here, you select the ISO that you already have. For example, like that. Um, here, leave it as like that. And the rest of the information, it's fine. Then click OK. Python was not necessary on this case because uh, as you can see, the command runs perfectly fine. But in case you have issues with that, we are going to run an administrator here, then yes. And I'm going to show you how to install it. Then click here. Add this Python path. Install now. Just remember that by installing Python on the system, all the scripts 
all the software and on the installation of Unlocker will work properly because it works with the language of Python. Now, the other part is are the scripts. You know, sometimes uh, we forgot to use that first. And before making the installation, just make sure to run all those commands. And I'm going to show you how to apply them. Just one moment. By going to the following folder, remember the path that you used to install. I have it here. Then make sure to look for the file that says, if you want to look it out for the extensions, and make sure that you're selecting the proper file. Go to options here, then go to view, and then go to the one that says, go to high extensions for known files, uncheck that one, and then apply. Okay, that will show you this one here, and then that file you have to open with, chose the app. I recommend to open with Notepad or any other like WordPad as well. Notepad works better. Now, with the scripts that we have already, go ahead, copy and paste in here at the bottom, the last part here of the document. And the network, this one copy and look for the one that says exactly the same as this one here. And as you, as you can see, it's this one, and then replace it, and then save it. That will make you run properly the machine. Okay, and that's everything about that. If you have the pro version, it changed just the presentation at the beginning. We create the new machine. We'll leave it at like that. Go to the ISO. And then we close here, max 13, macro X. We select the path where you are going to. As you can see here, it tells you the recommendation is 80 for this type of operating system. Then you click next, customize the hardware, four kits, two processors, Leave it as default, leave it as default, everything, right? Close, and we'll finish here. Now, this is going to start in a moment, so we have to be patient. As you can see here on the screen, we select the language then we need to make sure to format it the hard disk right that's why we go to the this utility then click on this part and make sure that you're selecting the one that has more kids okay now go to erase now go to erase i'm going to put ventura on there just make sure to select this part and this part and then we close and it's done we close here and then we go to install mac 13 beta now it's on beta at the moment the one that i have right maybe by the time that you see this video it will be the complete version now we close there this is going to take a couple of minutes so you have to be patient we're going to pause the video here so we can continue later on now as you can see on the screen right now it says 20 minutes remaining that could take longer or less this depends on the iso and also the cpu and the memory so we have to be patient but it will be installing fine okay the system has finished with the first part of the installation now the second part is the configuration of that installation and for doing that we're going to make sure 
to continue. Select the one that you're going to use, then continue. Then on written and spoken languages, continue. Accessibility. You can configure that later. Data and privacy, you can click continue. Migration assistant. Since you don't have another device at the moment, you can skip that part. Select note now. If you have your Apple ID and want to use it here, you can enter there. But if not, just set up later. Are you sure you want to skip it? Then skip. The terms and the condition, agree. And then click agree. Then select the password that you're going to use. Enable location services, continue. Don't use. Select your time zone, continue. Analytics, continue. Screen time, set up later. Dark mode. Now, guys, we have come to the last part. The only part that is missing to install is the VMware tools. And go to removal devices. Here, then go to settings. And on this section here, make sure to select the ISO for the VMware tools. And it will automatically pop up here. Then we open this one here. We select double click here. Then we click install. And then continue, continue. We enter our password. We select OK. Installation fail. Okay, we have to check exactly what's happening here. If you have gotten, if you're getting that message, if you were getting that error previously, go to settings and in settings, go to privacy and security. Scroll down, and as you can see here, it says system software from developer VMware was blocked. Allow. Enter your password and then restart. And now the machine is ready with full screen and everything. This is the final screen. As you can see, the full screen is enabled. Now we have this beautiful screen. Just remember that. Just remember by installing the VMware tools, it will improve the speed of the computer and it will feel better navigating all the windows, all the windows tab and everything. Okay. Now we have here about this Mac, Mac here 22, more info. Well, guys, we have come to the last part of the video. I hope you liked the video and also make sure to subscribe. We're going to be updating the channel with some steps how to use this beautiful Mac OS 2022. We have come to the last part. I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe. If you have questions, let us know. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.